Hey guys, how's it going? Mr Mitchell here. In this video we're going to look at kinetic and potential energy in simple harmonic motion. So let's get started. It starts by saying that for an object of mass m undergoing simple harmonic motion, there will be a conversion between its potential and kinetic energies for the duration of the motion. The maximum kinetic energy will occur when passing through the equilibrium position when velocity is at a maximum, whereas the maximum potential energy will occur at the maximum displacement of the motion. So just to help you visualise this, I'm going to show you a quick simulation. So here we have a simple pendulum set up with a mass on the end of a string, and if I displace the mass from its equilibrium position and let it go, then you'll see the mass will oscillate back and forth displaying simple harmonic motion. However, what we're interested in here is the conversion between the types of energy. And we just said in the notes that the kinetic energy of the object undergoing SHM will convert into potential energy and then back into kinetic energy and so on. And you can see that if you look at the energy chart on the left here. So you can see the kinetic energy and the potential energy are changing as the object moves back and forth. And it's a bit easier to analyze what's going on if we slow down the motion. So at the equilibrium position here, when the mass moves through the equilibrium position, we should have a point of maximum kinetic energy because the object is traveling at its highest velocity at that point. And you'll see that there with the biggest green bar there when we have no potential energy but maximum kinetic. And then at the extremities of the swing, i.e. at either ends of the motion, we should see maximum potential energy and zero kinetic energy because all of the kinetic energy has gone into potential energy at the end of the swing. So you'll see that there with the blue bar getting zero at the equilibrium and then maximum at the end of the swing. Now we can also visualize this conversion of energies by looking at the mass on a spring example of SHM. So if we put this mass of 200 grams on this spring where there's no damping, then we can see that the energy will convert between kinetic energy, but also two types of potential energy as well in this case. And these are gravitational potential energy because the object is raised above the ground and also elastic potential energy in the spring. And note that this is an unrealistic situation where there's no damping, so there's no air resistance or any frictional force is going to cause this mass to stop. It's just going to keep going. So this is unrealistic. This wouldn't actually happen in real life. And so the total energy of this mass at any one point is a mix of the kinetic energy and the two types of potential energy. Going back to the notes now, it says that these ideas are shown in the graph below. So if we plot energy on the y-axis against displacement y on the x-axis, and if we look at this dashed line first of all, then we can see we've got maximum energy at a displacement of zero. So this dashed line must be the kinetic energy of the object undergoing SHM, which is labeled over here, EK. And you can see that at the ends of the oscillation you've got maximum amplitude A and minus A where the kinetic energy is zero. However, we also have the potential energy displayed here, which must be this one, because you can see the potential energy is zero at a displacement of y equals zero, whereas it's maximum potential energy at the ends of the oscillation, and that's labeled EP here. And this dashed line at the top just shows you the total energy of the oscillating system. So you can see that when we have maximum kinetic energy, we have zero potential energy, and when we have maximum potential energy at the ends here, we have zero kinetic energy. That's all for this video, folks. Thanks for watching. If you made it to the end, I really appreciate it. Make sure to give the video a like, subscribe to the channel, and I'll see you in the next one. Take care.